ஓகே இனி அது இனி அது ஆன்சர்ஸ் சீனா ஸ்கியூ சிமெட்ரிக் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் ரெண்டுமே வர மாதிரி இருக்காது எம்எஸ் எம்சிக்யூ தான் எம்சிக்யூ only one answer should be correct d d strictly triangle strictly triangle strictly triangle is correct yeah strictly triangle is correct but uh, the preferred answer is c a preferred answer in the sense thappa podra answer is c okay so we'll see, we'll check it see take take any matrix first of all when i and j are same it has to be zero right so my leading diagonal element should be zero whatever may be the number of elements my leading diagonal element should be same and a i j should be equal to i when i is greater than j so this is 1 2 3 1 2 3 etc when i this is i right and this is j when i is greater than j what does it mean 2 is greater than 1 so here what should be my value i greater than j or la i is greater than j a j is equal to i so when 2 is greater than 1 my value should be i i enna value inga 2 2 is greater than 1 so i is 2 when i is greater than j the value should be 3 okay 3 to ah uh, 3 is greater than 2 it has to be 3 okay and what about this when j is greater than i when j is greater than i a i j is equal to minus i so minus i will be what minus 1 uh, what about this 1 3 1 3 One three, j is greater than i. It has to be equal to minus one, minus 1, not minus three. Okay, now minus j then I minus i then a question is when i is less than j, i j should be equal to minus i. Okay, what about next uh, this element? It has to be minus two, minus of i, which is minus two. Obviously, it is not a skew symmetric matrix. Okay, skew symmetric matrix in the sense my the element should be equal. The element should be equal, but it has to be of opposite sign. Okay, it's a strictly triangular matrix. Hmm. So this is option D. Two cross two is check one only for ten or fifteen. Ah, chumma or example kaga full ladu. A i j equal to i for all i is equal to j is equal to zero for all i is not equal to j. what is the trace of the matrix trace in the sense just summation of the leading diagonal elements so what will happen here a will be equal to you can take some example maybe 3 cross 3 or i'll just take n cross n 1 2 3 10 cross n matrix ha huh. so when i and j are same what does it mean i j same na leading diagonal element okay i j same in the sense it is this this element So other than this, all the other elements are going to be zero. Other than leading diagonal element, all the other elements are going to be zero because when i is not equal to j, it is going to be zero. So when i and j are same, the value is uh, the value is i itself. So two and two, it is going to be two, three and three, it is going to be three, etc. N and n, it is going to be n. And trace in the sense sum of the leading diagonal elements. So just add them. So if I add them. One plus two plus three plus four until n. That is our trace of the matrix. And this is nothing but n into n plus one by two. Huh? N into n plus one by two. Sum of n natural numbers. Okay, sum of n natural numbers. N into n plus one by two. Next question. One plus two plus three. Huh? Okay. When is three? Then one plus two plus three. Which? Ah, uh, C. Uh, C is correct. Only two options are left out. Huh? Ah. Apple, apple, not uh, that logic is not correct. the logic is not correct but i will explain it see we will do one thing we will take uh, what is that two cross two symmetric matrix question number 3 okay two cross two symmetric matrix uh, any example we can take
Who example something like what? Uh, three minus two minus two. <coughs> okay. What is the question? Maximum distinct element can be taken in nth order real matrix. Here my order is. Uh, here my order is two. For order two, what is the and also the question states maximum. Okay, the question states maximum. So, what is the maximum distinct element I can form? See, what does mean by that? For example, the same example, the same example, instead of 2, I can have 3, right? Is it a symmetric matrix? Is it symmetric matrix? Huh? Is it symmetric matrix? It is symmetric matrix. But my leading diagonal elements are same. But still, it is a symmetric matrix. Okay, it is a symmetric matrix. Minus 2, minus 2 are same. It is symmetric matrix. Okay. Uh, but how many number of distinct elements are there here? 2. Two elements are distinct. One is three, another one is minus two. But they are asking maximum. So maximum in the sense, this element and this element should be different. Can the end element first be different or no? So if those two elements has to be different, I will take some number two. So this is different number. This is different number. And I am surely, uh, I surely know that these two, these two elements should be always same. So on the end the lower element matta consider upon. Just consider one element. I will remove this. So totally, how many distinct elements are there? And three distinct elements are there. And what about uh, three cross three? First condition is your leading diagonal element should be different. The same are could Okay, some randomly three two minus two. Okay, but you know one thing: in the three element two, in the three element two, same are no. But what about these three elements? For example, can I take two two two? And this is two two two. First of all, is this symmetric? Is this symmetric matrix? It is symmetric matrix, but it is not satisfying the condition that I need to form a maximum distinct element. So, if the distinct element, is the element needs to be maximum, then this symmetric element should also be different. Okay, for example, minus 2, 3, minus 4. So, this will be minus 2, 3, minus 4. I should not consider these. So, balance how many elements are there? Oh, I am sorry. I will take minus 2. Uh, minus 2 is already there. 10, 10. Some random 10. Uh, okay. How many distinct elements are there? Uh, 6 distinct elements are there. And if you want, you can do for uh, 4 cross 4, 5 cross 5 also. But this is enough. 3 distinct element when the order is 2. 6, six distinct element when the order is uh, 3. Now check it. End the option match. I'll check one. Okay. When n is 2, element is 3. So obviously, option A is. One second. Hmm. Option A is wrong. And I n two, but in order to distinct element on the maximum distinct element on the three. Okay. Second case. When n is three, sorry, when n is two, if I substitute there two square, it will be four. Okay. N two or na, not a maximum distinct element on the three, but option which you path I will get four. So that is also wrong. What about this case? When n is two, two into two plus one by two. That will be equal to 3. When n is 3, 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2, that will be 6. Okay, uh, what about the last one? n square minus n plus 1. See, anyways, option C is getting matched, but option D, we will check it. Hmm. It is 2 square minus 2 plus 1. That is, that is 1. Okay, that is anyways violating. Okay, that is directly violating. So, only option which is matching is option C. Okay, distinct not different in Artho. One element are repeat. Ah, 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 Ah, okay. Upper or number of elements in upper or lower triangular matrix. Ah. Number of elements in upper or lower triangular matrix. Half into real half into. Okay, you mean n into n plus one by two. You are not considering zero there. Zero is also an element. 
நம்பர் ஆஃப் நான் சீரோ எலிமெண்ட் ஷுட் பி சேம் இதே தான் இங்கே வர இதே தான் வரணும் டென் இன் டைம் பிளஸ் ஒன் பை டூ டிஸ்டிங் ஆ என் என் டென் பிளஸ் ஒன் பை டூ ஸ்கொயர் பை டூ இல்லை இந்த மாதிரி தானே போடணும் இந்த மூணு எலிமெண்ட் ஜீரோ ஸோ நான் ஜீரோ மேக்ஸிமம் நான் ஜீரோ எலிமெண்ட்னா நீங்கள் வந்து என் என் டென் பிளஸ் ஒன் பை டூ தான் வரும் சேம் வே அப்பர் ட்ராங்குலர் லோ ட்ராங்குலர் ரெண்டுத்துக்கும் அதே மாதிரி தானே போடுவீங்க ஆ ஓகே சொல்லுங்க இதோட சொல்யூஷன் ஓகே ஆஃப் இன்ட்டு பேஸ் இன்ட்டு ஆகிட்டு நீங்கள் ஏன் போடணும் வி ஷுட் நாட் டூ அப்படி போடக்கூடாது டோட்டல் நம்பர் இஸ் என் ஸ்கொயர் ஓகே சார் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ அந்த மாதிரி அந்த மாதிரி எப்படி போடணும்னு தெரில நாட் அவர் ஆஃப் அந்த மாதிரி போடக்கூடாது ஏன்றது எனக்கு ரீசன் தெரியாது பட் இது திஸ் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபைன் ஆ நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் ஃபோர்த் ஃபோர்த் கொஸ்டின் ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இட் தியா ஃபோர்த் ஒன் ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இட் ஐ வில் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பி இஸ் கரெக்ட் எப்படி போட்டிங்க ஓகே ஆப்ஷனில் இருந்து டேரெக்டாக எலிமினேட் பண்ணிட்டிங்களா ஓகே ஓகே பட் இன்னொரு ஆப்ஷனும் செமிட்ரிக்காக இருந்துச்சுன்னா அந்த மேட்ரிக்ஸோட செமிட்ரிக் பார்ட் இது தான் எப்படி கன்க்ளூட் பண்ணுவீங்க சி இஃப் சப் இந்த கொஸ்டின் ஓகே ஓன்லி ஒன் ஒன் இஸ் செமிட்ரிக் இஃப் சப்போஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் ஒன் மோர் ஆப்ஷன் தட் இஸ் ஆல்சோ செமிட்ரிக் ரெண்டு ஆப்ஷனுமே செமிட்ரிக்காக இருந்தால் என்ன பண்ணுறது பட் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபைன் திஸ் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி குட் ஒரே ஒரு செமிட்ரிக் எலிமெண்ட் தான் இருக்குது ஸோ நான் சால்வே பண்ணாமல் டேரெக்டாக கன்க்ளூட் பண்ணிடலாம் தட் இஸ் குட் பட் இஃப் சப்போஸ் மோர் தென் ஒன் எலிமெண்ட் வாட் வி ஷுட் டூ பிரின்சிபல் டயக்னலாம் ஒரே நிமிஷம் நான் சொல்கிறேன் see let me take a matrix a which is symmetric okay matrix a transpose will be equal to what it will be equal to a that is also anyways obviously because it is symmetric right so a a transpose and uh, a should be same if it is a symmetric matrix okay a is individually symmetric matrix A, tra- a transpose is obviously going to be equal to a. let it be let it be let me just keep it aside um, if i take a matrix which is nothing but a plus a transpose i'm just taking a matrix which is a plus a transpose ah huh. if i apply whole transpose for this what will happen a plus a transpose whole transpose a transpose plus a transpose the whole transpose what is a transpose the whole transpose a so which is nothing but a plus a transpose so what i can say about this a plus a transpose see a matrix thaniya symmetric a transpose will be equal to a what is this a plus a transpose a plus a transpose matrix to okay that is fine my question is a plus a transpose and the n type of matrix it is also symmetric la like a plus a transpose whole transpose is equal to a plus a transpose itself okay so this is also a symmetric matrix uh, just wait just wait hmm hmm i see once again i done a mistake here it is not necessarily symmetric because if it becomes symmetric then there is no logic here right a is any square matrix okay ha a is any square matrix not necessarily symmetric okay a vandu edho or square matrix i have taken some square matrix i found out transpose for it added it applied whole transpose i am getting the same tra- same matrix again so it is symmetric what about 
a minus a transpose the whole transpose a transpose minus a transpose the whole transpose which is equal to this is a transpose minus a take minus commonly hmm. so what is this a minus a transpose the whole transpose this is it is q symmetric a plus a transpose is a symmetric matrix a minus a transpose a a minus a transpose is a skew symmetric matrix okay any doubts here okay but but still um this is not a symmetric part in the matrix what a symmetric part is kadiyadu what i should do let us take a matrix a uh, which can be written as which can be written as half of a plus a transpose plus half of a minus a transpose can i do this indha mari eludalam enoda matrix split panni just just check this check this matrix what will happen if i take half inside half of a plus half of a transpose plus half of a minus half of a transpose this two will get cancelled that is simply going to be equal to a so whatever may be my square matrix i can write it as half of a plus a transpose plus half of a minus a transpose and what is this matrix a plus a trans a plus a transpose will be symmetric a minus a transpose will be skew symmetric so a single matrix any square matrix can be written as a symmetric matrix and that is our symmetric part of matrix a and also i can write it as a skew symmetric part okay single matrix can be written as symmetric part plus skew symmetric part okay now copy this and with this you can try the next question so a a transpose add panni 2 wala divide pannikna symmetric a a transpose subtract panni 2 wala divide panna skew symmetric हम्म हम्म ए ट्रांसफर ए ट्रांसफर जब भी कैंसिल आ गया हम्म हम्म ए ट्रांसफर ए ट्रांसफर जब भी कैंसिल कैंसिल आ चुके अब भी ना इट इस पाइन ओके इन उड़ा ए ट्रांसफर सों ए ट्रांसफर सों कैंसिल आए रिचे ना कितने मो इन उड़ा मैट्रिक्स ए वावे वंदर इसे ना ओके अवल दा ये कोला परिचा दा ना ल कैंस So this is my a. So a transpose is one, two, minus one, three, five, four, minus two, three, one. A plus symmetric part is simply half of. Symmetric part is half of a plus a transpose, which is equal to half of. I will directly add them. Okay. So one, one, two. This is five minus three. Okay, five, ten, and seven minus three, seven and. Okay, just take this one by two inside. Just take this one by two inside. It becomes one. Five by two minus three by two. Five by two, ten by two, which is or ten by two, which is five. Seven by two minus three by two seven by two one. Okay, which is option D. Yeah, move forward. Fifth one. Okay, matrix. Ah, fifth question. Any answer? B R Delhi, right? One second, let me check it. Matrix A is x cross x plus five, and matrix B is y cross eleven minus y. Ah, 
they are saying a b b a both exist okay both are existing so a b ha c is correct c has to be correct okay so a b both has to exist in the sense a b a is what x cross x plus y and uh, b is y cross 11 minus y so column in the first matrix and row in the second matrix should be same so x plus y x plus y and y should be equal at the first condition so y should be equal to x plus y the second condition b a also exist okay so b is y cross 11 minus y a is x cross x plus y again column in first matrix and row in second matrix should be same so x should be equal to 11 minus y so x should be equal to 11 minus y just substitute this here just substitute this here this will become what y is equal to 11 minus y plus 5 bring this y here so 2y is equal to 16 so y is equal to 8 take this y substitute it here you will get x is equal to 3 okay so 3 comma 8 x is 3 y is 8 3 comma 8 which is option c quick quick complete this move to next question question number 6 Yes. Ha. Inverse apply pannala enoda order maaradu. Inverse function ona explain pannala but order change agadu. Adhe order da irukum. Square matrix ku mattum da inverse apply panna mudiyum. Okay, question number question number 6. Okay. um they are asking us to find out the order of a matrix they have given a matrix p into x transpose y whole inverse p transpose this is whole transpose okay first of all um see start with the inside uh, bracket ஓகே இருக்கிறதுலே உள்ள இருக்கிற பிராக்கெட்ல இருந்து ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணுங்க இன்சைட் பிராக்கெட் ஸோ இன்சைட் பிராக்கெட் இஸ் எக்ஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஐ வில் செக் இட் யூ நீட் டு கோ ஃபார் த இன்சைட் பிராக்கெட் எக்ஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போஸ் ஒய் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் எக்ஸ் இஸ் வாட் எக்ஸ் இஸ் ஃபோர் கிராஸ் த்ரீ ஸோ எக்ஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போஸ் வில் பி த்ரீ கிராஸ் ஃபோர் ஓகே அண்ட் வாட் அபவுட் ஒய் ஃபோர் கிராஸ் த்ரீ ஸோ இஃப் ஐ டேக் திஸ் தென் எக்ஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போஸ் ஒய் வில் பி x transpose y will be 3 cross 3 and if i apply inverse i will i will have the same order order la change agadu we will talk about inverse later so after applying inverse also my order will be same okay what about p and p transpose order of p order of p they give an order of p is 2 cross 3 and order of uh, p transpose is 3 cross 2 just reverse the order of p so this 3 and 3 is common so idoda product vande 2 cross 3 and again this 3 3 we can remove so the order will be 2 cross 2 and if i apply whole transpose for it it is going to be 2 cross 2 so the final matrix order is going to be 2 cross 2 okay start from the inside bracket and then keep on expanding 2 cross 2 is the answer option d maradu we can apply inverse only for square matrix and the square matrix order will remain square okay transpose ku the order maarum inverse ku maaradu c ha adu adjoint adjoint form antrathukku c a j kandupidikanum illa 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 we are going to do it for uh, square என்னால் ஏ இன்வெஸ்ட் வந்து ஸ்கொயர் மேட்ரிக்ஸ் தான் கண்டுபிடிக்க முடியும் ஸோ ஸ்கொயர் மேட்ரிக்ஸ்க்கு நீங்கள் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ஸ் அப்ளை பண்ணாலும் எனக்கு அதே தான் இருக்கும் ஓன்லி ஃபார் ஸ்கொயர் ஆ ரெக்டாங்குலருக்கு போட முடியாது ஸ்கொயர்லேயும் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக்காக நான் சிங்குலருக்கு மட்டும் தான் போட முடியும்
I can, oh, I didn't put an I, I will give you, sorry. I have not given the term right. I am not saying that inverse is not a non-single term. I am not saying that inverse is not a non-single term. Shall I proceed? Next question. Question number 7. Question number 7. Okay. See for question number 7, just take a note. Just take a note. For a matrix which is called as item potent matrix. Idempotent matrix, my a square will be equal to a. If I apply square for a matrix, if it is equal to a, then it is idempotent. If it is involuntary, okay, it is involuntary. If it is involuntary matrix, then my a square will be equal to i. is nil potent then my a square will be equal to 0. See a square is 0 then we can write some a power n also as 0. Basic condition on the a square is 0 but if I can apply to some power, power a power 3, a power 4, a power 5 is 0, then this n is called as index of uh, nil potent matrix. Index of nil potent matrix. Just copy this. You need to remember the terms involuntary na na, item potent na na, nil potent na na. That the conditions. See for a square matrix, can I directly square all the terms? A square matrix na matrix will recover over term you square panel lama. I need to do a into a just remember that. A square means I need to multiply a two times. A cube I need to multiply three times. A power four I need to multiply four times etc. multiply <laughs> 0 then 4 will be my index, a power 5 is 0, 5 will be my index. So they said that a n cross n is item potent matrix and i n cross n is identity matrix. And which of the following statement is true? Hmm. So they are asking us to find out i minus a, i plus a whether they are idempotent or not. So what about uh, first of all we will start with i plus a. i plus a. First of all, what is idempotent matrix? Uh, a square should be equal to uh, a square should be equal to a. So i plus a whole power two that will be equal to what? i square plus a square plus 2 times of i a plus b whole square a plus b whole square what is i square i a square uh, because we know that a is item potent so a square will be a what is 2 times of i a it is it it multiplicative identity right so multiplicative identity multiplied by a will be a itself i into a will be a so that is i plus 3 i plus a whole square is not equal to i plus a. It is not equal to i plus a. So, this is not idempotent. You are getting right what I am saying. Okay, 
a square is a it is idempotent i plus a whole square is not equal to i plus a so it is not idempotent got it right not idempotent ah, okay what about uh, i minus i minus a i square plus a square minus 2 times of ai okay so this will be i this will be a this is minus 2a then i minus a so i minus a whole square is equal to i minus a so this is this is what idempotent yes this is idempotent so getting the idea right okay just the square panni check pannunga rendu same a irundha idempotent illa na non idempotent adha na condition idempotent oda condition a if a square is equal to a idempotent adhe mari i plus a whole square is equal to i plus a it is idempotent i minus a whole square if it is equal to i minus a it is idempotent inge vanda i plus a whole square is not equal to i will write down i plus a whole square is not equal to i plus a okay so it is not idempotent if it is equal then it is idempotent so option b i minus a is idempotent but not i plus a can move to eighth question hmm consider two real matrix a m cross p b p cross n with non zero elements the number of multiplication and addition among the element of a and b in the multiplication of ab so i will take one example a is equal to question number 8 okay a is equal to uh, some a1 b1 a2 b b is equal to a3 b3 c3 a4 b4 c4 this is 2 cross 2 this is 2 cross 3 it is satisfying the condition right my p and p was same okay and then uh, m is 2 uh, n is 3 okay if i multiply this two what will happen a into b first row first column so that's going to be first row first column so a1 a3 plus uh, b1 a4 they are asking us to find out number of multiplications and additions additions is nothing but this addition so i have done one addition and multiplication two multiplication a1 to a3 b1 to a4 two multiplications okay now similarly first row second column a1 b3 plus b1 b4 i will just ha b1 b4 next first row third column a1 c3 plus b1 c4 okay what about second second row i need to go for second row first column so a2 a3 plus b2 a4 and uh, next uh, a2 b3 plus b2 b4 next a2 c3 plus b2 c4 okay how many additions are there how many multiplications are there number of additions are 6 number of multiplications are 12 now you can check with the option whichever is matching but i will suggest you to do one more example generally in the mari problem theku rendu example eduthukonga take two example so that check both the examples which is matching all the options 
one more example easy example we can take maybe a1 a2 and uh, this is what uh, 2 cross 1 and what about b i need one row but any number of columns so that is maybe b1 b2 b3 hmm. this is 1 cross 3 okay what is ab first row first column right first row first column so which is okay, but this is not going to give me any addition right addition is good so this is zero the number of additions will be zero see uh, that is fine but we won't get a conclusion sir okay right we will do a1 into b1 uh, next first row second column a1 into b2 first row this one a1 into b3 okay next second row first column a to b1 a to b2 a to b3 okay now additions are uh, 0 multiplication is 6 now check the options first option hmm, okay first option first option m n comma m plus n okay in my first example what is m i m is 2 this is p this is p this is n okay uh, they m n is multiplication see first multiplication is the addition option la. you could see that right number of multiplications and additions are so m n is multiplication so what is m into n 2 into 3 6 what is my number of multiplications 12 so according to the formula according to the option number of multiplication is 6 but what we got is 12 so option a is directly it is wrong ah, okay option b m p n m comma p plus n okay what is m p n m 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 3, 12, again 12 into 2, 24, but what is our multiplication? 12, so this is also wrong. Okay, what about option C? MPN, comma, M into P minus 1 into N, okay, what is MPN? 2 into 2 into 3, 12, satisfying. Next, M into P minus 1, 2 into 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so 2 into 1 into 2, sorry into 3, right 6. So it is satisfying the addition, it is satisfying the multiplication. We can check for that also, what about that, M, P, N. This is M, this is P, this is P, this is N, okay. What is M, P, N? 2 into 1 into 3, uh, 2, 1, 3 which is 6, number of multiplications are 6, okay. Next. Uh, m into p minus 1, p is 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0, so number of addition is becoming 0, so this is satisfying, this is satisfying both, option d check it won't satisfy, okay, option d you can check it, example which is all better, maybe sila case on the render option on the example satisfy the possibility, so render example na the possibility will be less, for example, most most likely could throw, but still for a safer side. Hmm. Next one, copy this move to next one, ninth question. No, no, it is not right. See, they are asking us to find out B inverse, right? See, uh, coming to matrices is concerned, if I take A, B and if I multiply with a matrix A here, left hand side la or matrix A multiply pandradho, if I take a matrix, if I take a matrix A B and I multiply with matrix A in right hand side, these two are, they are not equal, normal multiplication la they are fine, A into A B will be equal to A B into A. But matrix multiplication, they need not be same always. They, they may be same sometimes, but need not be same always. Okay. 
so this need not be same so directly i cannot uh, multiply with b inverse on both sides okay i won't able to directly multiply with b inverse so first what i will do i will take this a that side so i will multiply with a inverse on both sides so a inverse into a b c d which is equal to a inverse into i so this a inverse into a is what a inverse into a i a inverse into i a inverse not i inverse a inverse ha uh, so b c d is equal to a inverse what actually i want i want to find out b inverse so let me multiply with b inverse on both sides so this becomes b inverse into b c d which is equal to left side okay multiplying left side so this is i so c d equal to b inverse a now multiply with a on right side not left side now multiply a right side so what will happen to this Uh, C D A, which is equal to B inverse A inverse A. This is nothing but I. So I is equal to C D A. That's the answer. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. B inverse equal to C D A. I will be anyways. I B inverse into I will be B inverse, right? So B inverse equal to C D A. Ah, huh. option B. So L U decomposition I will I will cover after lunch. Okay. LU decomposition kapra no determinant and uh, cofactor adjoint a inverse and all we'll do that after lunch